Hello YouTube, this is OJ Cubing and welcome to my cube notation video. In this video, I will uh, explain the notation for what each move is represented as in letters. So to start off with, we're going to hold the cube in just one direction. I'm going to hold it with red at the front and yellow on the top. So, these are the moves that we're going to use. So for each move we say, there is an up face, a bottom face, a front face, a back face, a left face, and a right face. And we're always going to hold it in this position. So when we say each move, if it's just one of that move, then it represents that particular face as you were looking at it going clockwise. So for example, this is the up face, so the move U would be the up face moved clockwise. Now if we wanted to move um, a face anti-clockwise, we would use U prime or U dash or U inverted. So if you see a dash or a prime or U inverted, that means that it is anti-clockwise. So if we had the move B dash, we would locate the back face, which is this orange face here, and we would have a look as it would be. So going anti-clockwise would be that way, which means the B dash move would look like this. As well as clockwise and anti-clockwise movements, we can also have two movements. So again, holding the face like this, if we ask for the move L2, then we'd move the L side twice. Now it doesn't matter which direction it's in, because if you go two clockwise, it's the same as going two anti-clockwise. So we've got two clockwise and then two anti-clockwise. They make the same thing. So to recap, for all the beginners um, notation, we have got U, U prime, U2, and then we've got L, L prime, U2, sorry, L2. And then for this one, we've got R, because it's going clockwise, R prime, we've got R2, like that. And we've got D, D prime, and D2, like that. And then we've got F, F prime, and F2. B, B prime, and B2. And those are the beginner's um, notation that we need to use. Now I'm going to move on to some more complicated notation that you'll need for more complicated algorithms. But if you're just using the beginner's method, then this will do. So first of all, we're going to learn about slice turns. So slices are these middle sort of slices. And in order to do these, we're going to need new notation. So this slice that is going vertically and it's right in front of you is called the M slice. And if we use the move M, we have it like that, so it's coming downwards. And if we have M dash or M inverted, then it's going like that, so it's going upwards. Second of all, we're going to have E. Now E is the equatorial slice, um, so it goes around the equator. An E move looks like this, and an E dash move looks like this. And then if we're going to do S slices, the S slices is the last sort of thing that looks like it's between the front and the back face. And an S move is going to be this. And an S dash move is going to be like this. So after those slice moves, we're going to move into the double layer turns. Double layer turns are really simple because all they are are a lowercase letter for what they usually are except for you, you move the um, middle layer with it. So if we had an uppercase R, we'd move this face. If we had a lowercase R, we'd move this, and we'd move the middle slice. So R, smaller, would look like that. And a lowercase R inverted would look like that. And to go over the rest of them, lowercase U is this, um, lowercase U dash is that, lowercase L is this, and lowercase L dash is that. Lowercase f is both of these two, and f dash is that. Lowercase b would be these two, b dash is that. Lowercase d is this, and d dash is that. Now we have to be careful with using this sort of notation, because often with 4x4, 5x5s, the um, middle layers for them are represented by lowercase letters. 
So for example, on the 4x4, a lowercase r would specifically be this move, and r dash would be that. But let's not worry about that, because for the moment we're learning 3x3 three three, um, notation. So we're now going to learn something called whole cube rotations, which is where we have the cube, and in the middle of an algorithm, it's easier to go and change um, which face we're looking at sort of thing. So if we start off again with yellow on top and red on the front, if we perform an X move, we're going to rotate the cube like this. And if we get an X dash move, we're going to rotate it like that. So X is like the M sort of um, how the slice was, but rotating the whole cube. If we have a Y move, we're going to move it like this. And if we have a Y dash move, we're going to move it like this. And then finally, if we have a Z move, we're going to move it like this. And if we have a Z dash move, we're going to move it like this. So yeah, I hope all this helped. And that should be all the notation you're going to need for any algorithm you use. I'm going to put the Ruix website in the description so that you'll be able to see exactly what each button does. That's what I've used to help me with this tutorial. And thanks, guys. Hope you have a great day.